Well, Connor, that must be quite a tough one to take, given what you put into that match, and it looked like it was nil-nil, didn't it? Yeah, I think it, it was one of those games where it, it probably should have been a nil-nil. Um, I felt we defended our box so well for pretty much all the game except the goal. Um, and I think up, up the other end, we had we had a couple chances, but there there was never like a real big threat in their box from us. So it, it was one of them where it should, should have probably been nil-nil, and we deserved. We deserve the point. Um, all the lads worked so hard to to grow up for each other, um, to get something out of the game because it's a tough place to go. They're not lost in this season. So if you'd walk away from here as a nil-nil, that's a, a big positive for us. Um, it was just one moment from them, from from the edge of the box, one bit of bit of class from them, and it's it's gone in the top corner. So it's a tough tough pill to swallow for for us where we've put in so much effort um, and felt we deserved more than, than what we got. I mean, even then with a bit of look right at the end, you know, Josh almost got an equaliser for you as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of them where it's just bounced off the post and it's just fell just wide of, of where uh, George was as well. So on another day that can either go in or, or rebound straight to George's feet. Um, but I thought when, when Josh came on, he, he was a massive threat for us as well. He was just getting at him and especially last 10 minutes, we were pinning them back and just getting getting the ball in their box and being relentless with it, winning corners, um, just putting it putting it right on them. And I felt on on a on another day we'd we'd get a goal there. It'd just fall in for us, but uh, it's a it's a tough one to take. Like I said, yeah, and not an easy pitch to play on as well. You know, a bit, bit skiddy and, and also you know cutting up as well. You know, not great conditions. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go as far to say it was a, a terrible pitch to play on. I think all over the pitch you couldn't really plant your feet and and keep your balance it was it was one of them where it's just going to be a dogfight going into the game um, warming up you can see it cutting up already and especially as the game went on it just got worse and worse and it, it was always going to be one of them games where it's just a, a battle and uh, I'd say for the vast majority of that game we won our battles all over the pitch and it was never going to be a pretty game um, with, with pretty football it's going to be a just a dogfight and uh, I felt we we deserved at least a 0-0 and yeah, it's it, it was a tough. It's a tough place to come all all, all, the, all the time, um, but especially today with the the conditions on the pitch. And I mean, uh, walking away from here nil nil, we would have been would have been happy with that. And I think that's it, isn't it? Because performance-wise and efforts and organisation, all those things that have made you go through this good spell of, of form, were all there today. And as you say, fine margins at the end of it. Yeah, I think it was always going to be a, a, a game of fine margins. Um, and obviously, we had. We had Two, two lads come off and, and Harvey and Lee with, with injuries and then the the ones that come on I thought Chaz did really well and especially James again he was, he was brilliant last week and I thought when he come on as well out of position and right back I thought he was brilliant again getting us forward um, so there's was, there was lots of positives to take out of it uh, it was just it, it's a frustrating one for all of us um, and I think we with the, with the effort that we put in all week and, and today against a tough team a, a team of where they've got a big presence, they've got big players all over the pitch. Um, they're going to look to get it in our box. I felt we, we defended the box so well, and I think we, we, we deserved a nil nil. We definitely deserved a nil nil, and it's, it's just it's just frustrating. Um, but yeah, and unfortunately, we've got, we got the two injuries today. Hopefully, it's not too bad, and um, yeah, we, we'll go again next week. And talking of injuries, of course, you went off yourself with an injury at Harrogate, and there was a bit of a worry then about how serious that might be. How are you? Yeah, no, I'm I'm fine. It was it was a bit of a weird one. My my leg just seized up in the first half. Um, I, w- I went to clear it, and my leg just seized up, and it didn't ease off for about half hour. I couldn't couldn't move my leg at all. So it was a frustrating one to come off um, in the first half, and and uh, obviously last last week I was in the squad, uh, just rested up and that, and it's felt felt good all all week. So coming into this game felt positive about it and had no worries with it so hopefully it's one of them that's just come and gone and I think we, where it's uh, the festive period you had games coming thick and fast so it, it could have just been down to fatigue but it, it was a weird one and I was frustrated to, to come off and miss out but the, the lads were brilliant um, for the second half and for, for last week's game and now we just got to get the momentum um, again and keep it going. And you really seem to have settled into you know, Tramir life now. You know, it's never easy when you, you come in late, is it? You know, no pre-season, all those things have happened for you. But you seem really settled now and you're, you're really consistent. And I thought you were excellent again today. Cheers, thank you. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was tough because I had no pre-season, like you said. And I 
not not trained or anything for for a good four months since the back end of the last season. So uh, uh, coming into trial maybe in the September, um, it was just all for the first court, sort of month or six weeks. It was all about just getting the the distances in my legs again, getting the body ready. And at the beginning it was tough, and um, I felt now sort of the last last month or so, especially I've really hit the level of fitness where I need to be at. And now it's as the games come thick and fast, it's just kind of just getting into that routine and everything coming naturally and I've, I've been happy with sort of the, the level that I've got to now and hopefully I can keep on kicking on and, and take it higher. And you're very experienced at this level, I mean, you know, okay, a setback to date only from a result perspective, but you've got a week's rest now, get yourself ready for the next game and still a chance to, to push up the table. Yeah, definitely. I think this, this, this game's done and dusted now. I think we just come in on Monday, have, have a look at where we could have done better and what we can improve on and, and just sort of look ahead to next week's game and build on from there. I mean, it's a, it's a long season. We've still got sort of about 20-odd games left now, so it's almost 60 points to play for and, and there's, there's points up for grab. We've gone on a brilliant run um, and I think we just got to keep it going, keep on picking up wins, draws um, away from home and, and just, yeah, just keep the momentum. Uh, we've got a brilliant squad here, so more than good enough to, to keep on climbing up the table and see, see where sort of things go. Appreciate your time on a very cold night. You take care of yourself and have a good rest of the season. You too.